Hi everybody, Ziv Simon here. I'm the creator of Surgical Master. Welcome to this video. I'm still here in Ontario, Canada on a lake on my uh, kayak uh, that I um, use every morning. It's just a beautiful, beautiful scenery here. Very, very quiet and clean. You can, you can drink from the lake. It's uh, just a beautiful thing. Uh, you know, although I'm on vacation, I'm still connected to Surgical Master. I'm still looking behind the scenes. Uh, seeing what's cooking, answer some emails, uh, some Facebook, Facebook Messenger uh, messages uh, that are sent to me. And I got an interesting message uh, just today, uh, you know, from a doctor in Eastern Europe telling me that, you know, they don't have CT scanners uh, in their town, in their city. So they're placing implants without a CT scan. And what advice can I give? Uh, for doctors that don't use CT scans for implant surgery. And I thought it was such a great, great question. So interesting because I use CT scans all the time for every case. I, use, I do my cases computer guided that uh, obviously uh, requires a CT scan. And at first, my, my first, uh, uh, you know, my first reaction uh, would have been, you know, you got to just uh, go to the next uh, town and get a CT scan. But in reality, I now realize that uh, having a CT scan is a luxury. And where I practice, uh, everywhere you throw a stone is, uh, you know, you see a you see a, a CT scan, a CT scanner. So, uh, you know, this is the advice that I can give you if you don't have a CT scan, if no access to it, or it's too cost prohibit prohibitive for your patients to have a CT scan. The the one advice I would give you is know the anatomy understand exactly where the sensitive anatomical structures are, understand where the nerves, the blood vessels, the spaces, the concavities are. Um, you'll need to reflect a full thickness flap. You probably can't do things uh, flapless because you just don't see and there's no way to know. It's very misleading. <clears throat> so know anatomy extremely well, read upon it, actually go uh, online and download some of the free software for Computer Guided, although you're not using Computer Guided, some software for free, and just play around with them. Just uh, plan your cases on a software. You learn so much of the particular anatomy of this patient that you can stay away of, uh, from trouble. But I have to say, without using a CT scan, you're a little bit at a disadvantage, uh, but by knowing the anatomy, you can uh, negate it. So I hope this tip was helpful for you, helpful to you all, and um, keep practicing safe surgery, know the anatomy, and I'll see you in the next video.